Appreciate that. Are you familiar with the word diverging diamond? Well, you may or may not be, but I'm going to tell you about a new one that's coming to my neck of the woods, Sandy Springs. Let me show you what one of those are. First of all, this is one of the newer ones on Camp Creek at 285. It basically takes traffic and moves it from one side of the road to the next to kind of help you along the way. Now, here's what we're going to look at for this one. This is going to happen right on uh, Abernathy Road, just under 400. Now, they're going to begin this project 9 o'clock tonight. They were supposed to do this last week. We had all that rain move through, so unfortunately, they weren't able to complete that. This is going to happen until 5 a.m. Monday. Again, this is all weather permitting. Now, if you live or work and play in Sandy Springs, great alternates. I use these all the time. Mount Vernon Highway or Hammond Drive. That'll get you from the Roswell Road side over towards the Perimeter Mall side. They're confusing, but once you get used to them, you're going to be all right. So we went to GDOT to explain to us how to navigate through a diverging diamond. Type of interchange um, where at the ramp terminals you transition to the left hand side of the road as you cross uh, and then you transition back on the other side. The left turn onto the freeway is a free flow so it doesn't stop for a signal or anything like that. So there is actually a reduction in, in vehicle to vehicle conflict points for DDIs as well. All right, we know another popular way to keep traffic flowing is using a roundabout, but we all know Atlanta drivers are challenged when it comes to understanding how to navigate through one. Here's GDOT once again to explain. As you approach the roundabout, you should always slow down. You should always be looking left uh, and checking if there's anybody in the circle. Um, if there is someone coming, then you should always yield to them. The people in the circle have the right of way. They reduce what we call vehicle to vehicle conflict points, so points where vehicle paths cross. So at a normal four way intersection, you have 32 of those, and at a roundabout, you have eight. One of the bigger roundabouts that I use is right there at Riverside and 285. And of course, they're popping up all around Alpharetta and Milton and they work. The biggest thing we have to remember is you got to pay attention. You got to know who's coming to your left when you have the right of way. The diverging diamonds are confusing because it looks like you're going to the wrong side of the road, but you're not. So once these patterns become memory, they're really going to help out. I just hope the guy in front of me knows what he's doing because I'm following him. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully, you're still you're right. No doubt.